Hepatitis B is a virus spread mainly through blood, but it is also present in saliva and semen in small amounts. Now in the United States, the main ways that it's spread is through needle sticks, either through illicit drug use or accidental needle sticks in hospitals or clinic settings. It also can be acquired through unprotected sex with an infected individual and, as is most important for our video series, can be acquired from an infected mom to her unborn child through the placenta. That becomes very important because those babies that acquire it from their mom, they have about a 70 to 90 percent chance of getting it from their mom and 90 percent of those babies that acquire it are going to become chronic hepatitis B carriers. Now, here's where the problem is. The incubation period from the time you're exposed until you're sick is 60 to 145 days. In a pregnant mom, it's very possible that she could give it to her child and never know that she was positive for hepatitis B. The tests that we do for hepatitis B may be unable to detect it during that incubation period. Now, Symptoms for hepatitis B for children are almost non-existent. During the acute phase, most of them are not sick at all. In fact, in adults, only 50% of them will have any symptoms at all. Symptoms include kind of some low-grade fever, fatigue, nausea, then followed by right upper quadrant pain, some dark colored urine, and then they start to turn yellow, which is called jaundice. The whole entire illness may last weeks to months, and most people will get over the illness, be fine, and develop lifelong immunity. But occasionally, it becomes chronic. Now, during that acute phase, 200 to 400 people may die every year. But that number is misleading. The real numbers come in the chronic hepatitis B. 25% of people who develop chronic hepatitis B will have a shortened life expectancy because of it. 3,000 to 4,000 people die every year from cirrhosis due to chronic hepatitis B, and 1,500 deaths per year from liver cancers directly caused by hepatitis B. Now the shot, the vaccine for hepatitis B, has been around since about 1991 in widespread use. It's typically given when a baby's born, at one to two months of age, and then again at six months. It's got a 95% effectiveness at decreasing the disease. And since 1991, we've seen an 82% decrease in the number of hepatitis B infections every year. Side effects of the vaccine are few, which is why it's so nice to give to those little babies. It may cause some pain at injection site, possibly some low grade fever. In the older people, they may feel some fatigue or headache. Contraindications are also very few. A prior history of a vaccine reaction such as an allergy or a moderate to severe illness at the time that you were going to give the vaccine. The cool thing about this vaccine is if mom unknowingly was going to transmit this virus to her baby, if the vaccine is given at birth, it has a great chance of preventing the baby from being positive from hepatitis B and becoming a chronic hepatitis B carrier.